How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and I want to show you how you can make the most unstoppable character in Fire Pro Wrestling world. This will work for any Fire Pro, probably. So, you want to set it up so they're kind of a grappler, shooter, wrestler. I have mine set up as a wrestler, and that's going to be doing okay by me. Doesn't matter what they look like. What matters is, you know, that might be okay. Um, but what's going to happen is, when you set up your CPU to do like what maneuver you can do. And you can do that on this game. You can set up your computer player to play the way you want them to play. If they're a high flyer, you'll have them jump off the top rope. If you're, you know, a ground technician, you'll uh, roll them around and stuff like that. Um, if they're like an American style wrestler, you're going to have them want to have them taunt as much as possible. But how you make this trollingest character ever is you give them a submission hold. So when they're head down, what else do we have here? That's all right. That'll work too. That's good. I like that one. Let's go with that one. So, that move there, that's basically going to be the only thing they do. You can add a voice if you want. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you should add that voice. Uh, however, uh, that's pretty much all you need. You can give it a finishing move name if you'd like as well. This is called the spooning, because nothing is more humiliating when you're being... <laughs> <laughs> submitted by spooning, I suppose, in the middle of a wrestling ring. So you go to the CPU here. What you want to do is turn off everything, like literally everything, and just grapple. The only thing you want to do once you have your maneuver set is just go straight into a grapple. Don't do anything else. You don't need to do anything else. The only thing you want to do is grapple. And then you're going to do the same thing here, only to get them down in that position so you can put that maneuver onto them. Jack that up to 100. This is going to be that front headlock. The cool thing with the front headlock is when you place them in that, first of all, it's really, really easy to uh, pull off because you can do it to anyone, literally anyone. You can be a luchador doing it to a giant uh, because it doesn't take any strength. It doesn't take any, you know, it's not like a power bomb or a pile driver or like you know, a body slam where you got to pick them up. You just put them in a the front headlock. And then when you attack them in a front headlock, you, they'll drop down to the mat in that perfect position and then immediately attempt to go into the submission hold. Now, this is not perfect, and it will not be pulled off every single time. However, as the opponent, the other wrestler, the other performer, is going to be trying these, you know, spin heel kicks, power bombs, backflips, and all that, they're going to wear themselves out quickly because they won't have a chance to breathe. A headlock doesn't take anything. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to create this wrestler. So the only thing it does, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you're not going to be running around. You're not going to do anything else. All you want to do is go in for the grapple, front the headlock. Once they drop down, put them in the submission hold. That's all we're doing. That's the only thing we're going to do. So I'm going to do this three matches here, and I'll see if I can get them. Um, I bet I'm going to do all three. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to get a perfect victory here. I don't care who I'm facing. I don't care who I'm up against. We're going to speed this up here as this part doesn't really matter as much. And okay, like I said, they'll still pull off their own maneuvers. They'll still hit you. They'll still kick you. They'll still try for maneuvers. But the more they do that, the more it's going to wear themselves out. And then after a while, you're going to start to see the tide going in your favor as you're going to, you know, pick them up. No, that's not picking them up. You're going to pick them up, put them in that front headlock, drop them down, straight into the submission hold. And you're going to keep doing this every single time automatically. <laughs> they are going to get so annoyed that the only thing they're going to do <laughs> is the front headlock. And, yeah, I, I probably deserve that. Um, <laughs> and, and the submission hold of your choice. Um, this submission hold here, the rear naked choke is very, very effective. I'm going to speed it up a little bit more here. And if you're lucky, if you have it pulled off here, um, again, I have mine, you know, um, my critical set to uh, submission as well. So, as you'll see here, there you go. That's what you're hoping for. Not going to get a critical every time. Not going to get a critical every time. However, again, just you're just going to just wear them out and eventually look at the upper hand. I don't care who's on the other side. All right, we got this uh, virtual fighter looking dude here. So he's going to throw you around a little bit. You know, And that's the other thing, too, is you're going to do a few times until they're really worn out. You're going to put them in the front headlock, drop them down. They'll get right back up. You don't have time to put them in a submission hold yet. Um, 
And then depending on who you're fighting too, because you might go for the submission and they might counter the submission. And that might happen a few times too. It's inevitable. And like I said, this is not 100% guaranteed victory every single time. I'd say probably 90% or more though. I'd probably say 90% or more though. We'll get this going on here. But as you can see, I mean, this one's actually going on pretty well. He actually has this character set up pretty well, but now we're going to start seeing those submission holes. Now we're going to start seeing that front headlock into the rear naked choke or the spooning because nothing says, nothing, <laughs> nothing says I gave up like a good spoon. Now we're going to keep on doing it. This is when they start getting really annoyed. That's the other thing too. This is the um, computer versus computer mode online. So when you play this game online, you can go computer versus computer. You can also know, um, I did go back in and I short, I made this guy shorter. My first character was way too tall. I put him as short as possible just for added funness. It doesn't really matter what they look like. It does not matter. I mean, you can put him as a bear. It doesn't matter. Put him as a panda. It doesn't matter. But you're going to make this happen. There you go. See? Another victory. I need to change that. They need to change that end taunt into something else. <laughs> okay, now somebody made Jean-Claude Van Damme. And I'm going to see if I can defeat Jean-Claude Van Damme as this kind of crazy looking character here. See, the beautiful thing is, I don't know how much uh, endurance he has here, but going to be going off for like a whole lot of kicks, a lot of spin techniques, a lot of maneuvers here. But I'm telling you, that rear naked choke... And again, it doesn't have to be the rear naked choke. It can be the camel clutch. It can be anything. You can you can make Scott Steiner and have him only do the camel clutch just over and over and over again. And eventually, you know, they'll give up or get or become critical, and you know, you'll end up winning by default <laughs> because because that's what'll happen. I don't know. Jean Claude Van Damme though looks pretty tough here, but gonna keep on doing that. We'll see what happens. Elbow in the back, rear naked choke, go for the spooning. Not this time. All right, we'll try again. Nope, wait a minute. Nope, not quite. Here we go. I'm telling you. Oh, got the new victory dance here. <laughs> Insult to injury. You can imagine the person on the other side of the wall just throwing their controller up against the wall because they lost to that. <laughs> so if you want to make your own have at, thank you for watching. I love this game. I'm a huge fan myself. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll get to see you again real soon, all right?